Hi, this is Vignesh Kumar from VAT University, Vellore. I am doing PhD in Center for Disaster Mitigation Management in the field of hyperspectral remote sensing. The hyperspectral remote sensing has two types of sensor. One is space one sensor, another one is airborne sensor. In the space one sensor, Hyperion is the main satellite. I am going to explain about that satellite. In this Hyperion satellite has 242 bands. It operates in the wavelength region between 0.4 micrometer to 2.5 micrometer. At the same time, it has 30 meter spatial resolution and 2 power 16 radiometric resolution and 16 days revisit period. It's mainly used to identify any kind of vegetation and that vegetation health monitoring. At the same time, mineral exploration, lithological mapping, and etc. I am going how to do the classification at the same time pre-processing how to do the radiance and reflectance conversions, how to do the diode dimension detection using MNF, PCA and pixel purity index. In this video, I am going to execute first one, how to do the bad bands removal after the de-stripping, after that atmospheric correction, after that MNF, after the pixel purity index, after the SAM, perfection based classification and sub pixel based classification. First, look at that how to open this LNR imagery because in the Hyperion imagery has three types of imagery formats. First one is LNR, second one is LNGST, and third one is LNT. LNR is a radiometric calibrator, and the four corner points of the imagery is georeference. At the same time, LNGST is geometrically corrected, and LNT also geometrically corrected. It's not a problem. But I am taking explicitly LNR imagery only because it is mainly used to do the distripping. Because number of resistors, I see that papers, they are not do the distripping very properly. For that reason, I am taking LNR imagery. Okay, just look at that. Now I am doing everything using that NV classic. Uh, NV 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 is a environmental visualizer interface software in this software mainly used number of satellite processing techniques at the same time nv 5.2 5.3 mainly used to pre-processing the hyperion imagery file open external file and give evo1 and give htf this is the hyperion imagery path and give the path d class Elona and you can able to see that dot Elona just select this file the file size around 500 MPs now look at that now the bands are loaded the band one has 355 nanometer it has totally around 242 bands the end of bands have 2577 nanometer but every band is not contained with every information uh, just load true color first this area is available in, uh, near uh, Thirunadeli district it is the southern part of Tamil Nadu in this region you can able to see that this is called as Pachayar river and this is the Tamarbani river and you can able to see that in that imagery has 242 bands but not every band contains information just load the grayscale images for band 1 it is not showing any information it is totally black and band number 2 also band number 3 up to band number 7 after that band number 8 only it shows information will be there for that reason I am saying that the total 240 bands out of 198 bands only in the calibrated condition because band number 127 and band number 58 to 76 and band number 225 to 242 having no information for that reason it is called as zero fan first you are going to remove the zero bands just give 5 
and save file as and give env standard and give import file and take alone just look at that it will give two subset first one is spatial subset second one is vector subset just i am going to pick spatial subset first and give that image i am selecting the unsum sample imagery and give ok and in the spectral subset it has 242 bands in this 242 bands pps apply normally pps mean bad band layer and at the same time i need to remove some more bands also there because it can't die water vapor region it is from 120 to 132 it is not depend upon the band it is depend upon the wavelength of the particular region that's it and band number 165 to band number 182 To that band number 222 to sorry 221 to 224 now 130 say 163 bands only selected and give ok and just save the file create on folder the name of output and give the file name subset it will save under dot dat format only it is standard nv format give ok now look at that in this band number one just load back okay after that just load true colors also you can able to see the true colors also available and you can able to see the z vector it is also there after that now that's it in this session we are complete how to remove the zero bands and the bad bands in the Hyperion imagery. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button. Thank you.